Jagger board is painted. It might be a bit of trial and error. Ah, this system. I got a Jim and I had finally gotten around to finishing the dagger board, a difficult project to manage both physically and mentally. It repeatedly needed to be fit and then reshaped and then fit again, which involved an ingenious ladder pulley system. But finally, after a few intense workouts and repeated sandings by Jim, we got it into the slot and were ready to start applying the anti foul. But the story of the dagger board began a long, long time ago in a marina far, far away. Will and Lena were the masterminds behind the dagger board. It was built from marine plywood that was fiberglass and layered to create the thickness we would need for the base shape. So we set it for 24 hours at least. Yeah. And then you. Slow curing epoxy? Yep. And. Yeah, it needs at least 24 hours to fully cure and okay. more like 48 hours until we can start shaping. Okay, cool. Once this had cured, it was time to start shaping the big block of wood into its fin-like form. And now Will just needs to put that up and down into that little hole over and over again another 20 times. Yeah, at least. <laughs> another amazing boat workout brought to you by Will. You're getting there. Oh yeah, I can see the line you're doing. Yeah, that looks cool. All right. Uh, little by little. Oh, you're getting close. Just gotta get it centered first. Well, it's starting to look more and more like a fin, I reckon. Especially from this side, I think you can see it the most. So Will's just building up the fiberglass area to put um, the plastic sliders onto. He's getting very close. It was right around this time that a global pandemic struck the world and our trusty daggerboard engineers had to return home to Germany. It was then up to Jim and I to continue with the final fittings of the daggerboard. It only took us a year to get back around to it be too tight, right? Let me let me take a look at it down there too. There you go. But finally the dagger board fits and we were able to finish the final stages of painting. Dagger board is painted. Ready to go in the slot. Dust up all around me Itchy fiberglass in my shoes Well, it's stuck with an air We got it up onto the boat for the final time and we're very excited but it still fit nicely into its home Oh, it still fits, it looks like as always, we were also keeping busy helping animals in the town. Little Toby was suffering from some vomiting and diarrhea. Very common issue in puppies here. 
We were literally doing his treatments in the dining room. Luckily, Andreas from Sailing Less Plastic has a very strong stomach. What's normal dog temperature? 38 to 39. So, so just a little, yeah, a little higher than that. We gave Toby fluids and antibiotics, as well as treatment to help with the nausea. Infectious causes and parasites are really common here, so we made sure that he also had some worming medicine, and we covered all of our bases to make sure Toby would make a recovery. All right, so right now, Jim and I are trying to figure out where we can put the fittings for the rope down here, which is going to hold the dagger board down. These are too far back, the old holes, but we're hoping we might be able to use this one with this little fella up there to run the rope through. So we're gonna drop the dagger board back down with the rope run through and see if it all fits or not. Then we'll drill it in. It might be a bit of trial and error uh, this system but once we're finished we'll explain it to you properly so you can understand it all because right now it's a little bit confusing <laughs> Just take it up. I think there's a trick I can do. Oh, yeah, I see what's up. Got it? Yeah. Before we go any further, we need to give the green rope a plug on. We had to drill from the inside out to ensure the holes would be in the right place and not go into our watertight lockers that run on either side of the slot. We're using little nylon washers to make sure that the um, stainless steel is well isolated from the um, aluminium and that's why we painted the holes as well so none of the stainless will be coming in contact with the aluminium. So we're just getting the rope ready to hold the dagger board down in place so it doesn't float. First step is we're going to pass the rope through here and tie a knot in it to be on one side of the dagger board. So the rope comes up and then it's going to loop through this part of the dagger board and then we'll go back down and it'll essentially pull down on it like this. So start passing it through. So I am now going to pass the rope through the little um, eye hook that we put on there. And I'm going to tape it to this one so that Jim can lift it back up. So now we lift it back up to see how much of this we'll need, basically. Okay. So basically the way we're holding it down is this rope's tied on that side like we showed you, comes through the dagger board, down through that little eye loop thing, back up, and then as we tighten this, it pulls it down so that it won't float. That's the theory anyway.
The pulley system to lower and then hold down the dagger board seemed to work and so we moved on to the system to pull it up. Here comes through. I feel like even now that we've done it, I would still struggle to explain in a like concise manner how it has been done because it's like you kind of just got to do it to figure out how to do it. It's a pulley system. It's a pulley system. <laughs> those on better but looks like it's holding the rope nicely that's the one to let it come up what I'm gonna do is tie a special knot on the end here so it can't fall through then we can adjust this one accordingly but in theory this is the longest this one needs to be right because then we'll lift it up so yeah It's really hard, but I can do it. Let's hope the damn thing floats so it'll, it'll yeah. just be down all the time. You gonna start lowering it? Yeah. Okay, let's see how it slides up and down. Yeah, that seems to be as far as it'll go down. Okay, just so you know, the rope of the... Um, the holding it down rope? Came with it. Yeah, came down. So just try pull on that and make sure it tightens. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Going up. okay. Oh. Yeah, that's above the, like, halfway up the rudder again. Cool. That's about as far as it'll go on this. Well, and that's plenty. If we ever need a beach, uh, that's not going to be in the way, so. Cool. A final layer of anti-foul was all that was needed to finish the epic saga of the dagger board. We hope you enjoyed this episode. You can help us treat puppies like Toby by becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons have already seen our shakedown sale, and they know whether or not the dagger board works. They also get lots of other special footage. Until next episode, stay chuffed everybody.